Let's take a look at the 2x2 two two factorial design. That is where we have two factors that could influence a dependent variable. And we'll look at a scenario as well as descriptive statistics. To get started, I want to let you know that I was asking my students in class what variables could perhaps influence a student's weight. And several possibilities that you can read here were offered. And for each of these possibilities, we identified the scale of measurement. Whether it was nominal, which means categories uh, that you do not rank, they're all equal, so to speak. Uh, ordinal, which would be categories that you would rank. And then there were some things that were um, scale. Scale meaning ordinal or, or ratio. Uh, and by scale, I mean that these are uh, variables where the numbers are, are not categorical, they're actual numbers the way you would think. You could add, subtract, multiply, and divide with them. Okay, so students could uh, take a look at this list of variables that might affect uh, a person's weight. And as a class, we chose two variables to focus on. Uh, the variables were gender, which is a nominal variable, male and female, and also level of stress. And possible levels of stress might be low, medium, and high. And again, this is categorical, but it's categories that you can rank, so that makes it ordinal. Our design in this particular uh, illustration would have been a 2 by 3 factorial design. Our first variable, gender, had two levels. Our second factor, level of stress, had three levels. So 3 says there's three levels for the second variable. An initial survey of my students, however, indicated there were no low stress students. Perhaps it was because finals was approaching. So we went to a 2 by 2 factorial design. Two levels for gender two levels for level of stress. Our dependent variable again being the student's weight. To collect data we had a simple anonymous survey. Students reported their gender, their stress level, and their weight. In terms of recording the data in SPSS, uh, SPSS used a number to indicate a category. So one we used to indicate male, two for female, uh, nominal data. For stress, or ordinal data, a two meant mid-level stress, and a three would be even more stress, high-level stress. Our null hypotheses. Whenever you do a two by two uh, factorial design using uh, and analyzing your data with ANOVA, you don't really get to pick what your research and null hypotheses will be. They're kind of a given. So for our uh, factor of uh, gender, the null hypothesis is no difference. For our factor of stress, no hypothesis, no difference. And in terms of a possible interaction between gender and stress, our null hypothesis, no interaction. So null hypothesis is all about no difference, no interaction. The research hypothesis is that there will be a difference in weight between males and females. That there will be a difference in weight between mid and high level stress people. And that there will be an interaction between stress and gender and weight. Notice that when we're talking about our factors of gender and stress, we're seeing there'll be a difference. It's a two-tail hypothesis. We don't get to pick uh, whether we want one tail or two tail. With the ANOVA, the data analysis is always two tail. That is, you simply get to say that there will be a difference. You, you do not get to predict in which direction. For the interaction, research hypothesis is simply there will be an interaction. So when we look at our three hypotheses, first hypothesis says that there will be a main effect of gender in terms of people's weight. Our second hypothesis says that there will be a difference uh, that is a main effect in terms of stress level on people's weight. And a third hypothesis is that there will be an interaction between our two factors, gender and stress. Okay, here are the possible descriptive statistics for our results. Uh, this is what SPSS gives us if we, under options, choose descriptive statistics. And this has a lot of information. It's kind of nice to put in easier format for your reader to, to see. Um, so we grab mid-level stress for males and we plop it in. We grab the high-level stress for males and put it in. And for females, mid-level stress, we put it in. And high-level stress, we put it in. A graph is a great way to go to share with people uh, your results. So notice that uh, males uh, are weighing on average more than the females. So that's clearly a main effect of gender. Also notice that people who are highly stressed weigh more than people who are mid-level stressed. So that's another main effect. Also notice that if you are um, male, take a look instead of just having the same type of weight gain that a female experienced, uh, so that these two lines would have been parallel, the males actually gained considerable more weight uh, when they were highly stressed compared to females when they were highly stressed. So that's an indicative of an interaction.